Hey guys, so continuing our discussion with continuity, um, there are several different types of discontinuities that you can have. So if a function isn't continuous, then it's discontinuous, but uh, there are different types of discontinuity. So the first type we'll talk about is a removable discontinuity, uh, sometimes also called a whole um, informally. But anyway, uh, f of x has a removable discontinuity at x equals c if and only if, uh, one, the limit as x goes to c of f of x exists, two, f of c also exists, uh, and three, they're not equal. Okay, So if the limit at uh, c exists, if the function value at c exists, but if they're not equal to each other, then you have a removable discontinuity. All right, um, And it's called removable because uh, you can pretty much uh, remove the discontinuity by uh, redefining the function, so to speak, at the point of discontinuity. So uh, let's see this with an example here. So example one, y equals uh, little f of x. And uh, here we see that um, we've got this little hole here, right, uh, when x is 1. So first of all, what's limit as x approaches 1 of f of x? Well, let's see what's happening. Remember, limit describes how it looks like uh, the function is behaving. So um, as x approaches 1 from the left or from the right, it looks like the y values are going to 5, right? So this limit uh, is 5. Alright, um, but what is f of 1? f of 1 equals 2. Okay, when x is 1, the actual y coordinate is 2. Alright, so this is an example of a removable discontinuity. And how can it be removed? Well, it can be removed by defining a function uh, big F of x equals what? Um, equals little f of x uh, if x is not equal to 1, kind of running out of room here, sorry, and uh, it equals 5 if x equals 1, all right? So big F of x is going to agree with little f of x um, everywhere except x equals 1. So in other words, if x is not equal to 1, then big F of x, which we'll draw in green here, is just going to be the same thing. So it's going to be this and this and this and this, all right? But the difference is uh, when x is 1, little f of x is 2. But if we, read, if we define this big F of x to be equal to 5 when x is 1, then big F of x is continuous. All right? So that's why it's called a removable discontinuity, because you can sort of uh, define this new function here to remove the discontinuity. All right? So uh, that's example 1. Example 2, uh, without a graph here, let's say um, g of x equals x squared minus 4 divided by x plus 2 if x is not equal to negative 2 and it equals 5 uh, if x equals negative 2. So let's do the same thing uh, we did in example 1. Uh, let's find limits first. So limits as x approaches negative 2 of g of x equals the limit as x approaches negative 2. So if we take a limit as x approaches negative 2, that means that x is not equal to negative 2. Right? It could be less than negative 2, could be greater than negative 2, but it's not equal to it. So that means we're on this piece here, all right? Um, so this is going to be x squared minus 4 over x plus 2, that factors, right, into x minus 2 times x plus 2, all divided by x plus 2. So uh, these x plus 2s here, let's zoom in a little bit. Um, these x plus 2s here, they're going to cancel, cancel, cancel. So what we have is limit as x goes to negative 2 of x minus 2. And direct substitution tells us that's minus 2 minus 2, which is minus 4. All right. So the limit as x goes to negative 2 of g of x is negative 4. But uh, the problem is that g of negative 2 is actually 5. Okay. So what we see here is that um, when x is negative 2, the y value is 5. But the limit as x goes to negative 2 uh, of g of x is negative 4. So the function value and the limit don't agree. Um, so this is another example of a removable discontinuity, right? So let's, um, let's not make a new function like we did in example one. We'll just leave it at that, and we'll talk about another type of discontinuity in the next video.